Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to be learning how to model a can stock. It's very nice model for a nice uh, example in SolidWorks. Uh, I'm really curious about it. I hope you guys also can follow and uh, create the model by yourself. First we create a part and in the front plane I open a sketch and here placing an ellipse this point and this point will be vertical and the dimensions of ellipse will be 80 mm high and here we have 32 mm wideness after that on the right plane we create a one more sketch which is going to be looking like this all selecting them and making construction geometry this will be 180mm this will be 5mm and after that I'm just giving a relation to make fully defined my sketch selecting two point pressing CTR well button and then creating the relationship and after that we just select a line and the point and creating there a new plane and then we look to plane normal after we take a spline and finishing somewhere like this and we just create a line which is 125 millimeter high and going to be coincident on this edge I select both points and coincident I have a nasty problem with my mouse uh, I'm not able to turn model easily uh, for that sorry guys if it is a little bit bothering and uh, I just basically change my tangency values here the degree will be here 84 degree also in the bottom 84 degree according to the, this line and the tangency values bottom is 53 up is 106 millimeter exactly this is what we are searching for after this we just basically making a mirror in the this uh, construction line when we done with this operation I just hide this plane and mm, quickly making a loft we don't do anything further in this point and I'm turning my part and looking on the right plane again I'm creating here a sketch which is 126 mm, 226 mm, and when you compare with this line, it is 16 mm high. 16 mm high. That's the point that we are going to uh, place the another profile, and from here to here there will be 45 mm highs first uh, thing is putting here a spline and giving a equal curvature in this edge and here creating a line and giving here a tangency relationship and the tangency value will be here 100 then we go create the second profile Firstly, I put a normal line, and with my existing degree, I'm uh, existing slope. I'm making my uh, line uh, collinear, and this is 45 millimeter long. 45. When we done with this, we just go put here one radius, and then finishing that, and creating one more radius or semi arcs let's say tangency and tangency 
this is radius 17 this is 43 and the point from here to here should be 80, 85 millimeter exactly and the degree from here to here should be 18 exactly 18 that's that's going good as you see everything and the screen is black that means we have fully defined sketches first line first relationship tangency here and tangency here and the tangency values going to be 200 here 100 on this point this is our guide curves and we complete them as you see on the screen they are fully black and now we go create one more plane on this point exactly we create it and in the sketch we open a new plane there and looking normal to if you are not able to work like this, in fact I am not able to work just directly looking the profile that's why I am working a little bit with the angular uh, uh, in an angular position and this will be our uh, contour select chain and for construction we make it and midpoint and midpoint uh, we have 45 degree highness and the wideness is will be uh, 40 millimeter and now uh, I go create here a, a series of uh, semi arcs if there is something same I'm not going to do again I will just make a mirror and I convert this line making a line for mirror and also here I'm going to make symmetric this points and the uh, tangency here for same in this area tangency and the points are symmetric and the radius was here 40 on the bottom uh, 70 and in this one it is 100 millimeter exactly we just make something like this and a tangency here this is not looking black the, that means some relations are missing after this one I make a mirror again and at the other side I have same profile in this point I will not uh, work on this sketch now I'm going to copy the same sketch and just sending unnecessary sides because if I'm going to make a trim and another uh, operation in that sketch I can have an undefined sketch and that uh, I don't want now because if it is not looking nice to your eyes you can you want to maybe you want to change the radius values or other things that that is in this way better and radius 10 going to be two time place on up and the radius 15 going to be two time place on the bottom basically this section here will be like this and the first sketch can be hidden the, the main profile also now uh, here is done and then in this point we can make a loft in the profiles selection manager I am selecting multiple one this is first profile this is second section not uh, profile it's a section and the guide curves will be just this one and the second is this one as you see we get the, the easily the uh, the section and the, the the desired model I have seen in the d drawings uh, of the this gun stocks uh, normally in this section there is one more time uh, 
in this area there is around here one more time section but it will go make the video longer and un uh, unfortunately I don't have that much time and that's why I'm skipping that model because even now also it's quite uh, looking quite nice and I'm continuing with the existing uh, uh, version in the uh, white plane I open a, a sketch and I will define here my profile I will define here one more uh, extra operation and two time semi arc and in this uh, point I need my uh, guidelines to find in the middle I just put here the line and this one and I make that horizontal and 21 up 21 down I put here to construction line and place my sketch with my radius step or arc and the second also here tangent and the edge will be there this is exactly what we want and the length of this point it is 45 millimeter and the radius are same and then we just get fully defined sketch as you see on the screen and I close my counter now we make a 42 millimeter extrude here in the middle option 42 after this operation is done we are just going to cut unnecessary sides and it is now looking fine and uh, from this point to this to this uh, area I made a 4 degree line and with extruded cut I'm just going to cut with a one line this unnecessary side like we are making a trim now as you see it is finished and the top plane I select this uh, operation going to be mirrored to our side uh, it is right plane I think yes now it is fine uh, then we just go create here our uh, radius there will be one or two millimeter radius sorry two millimeter radius I placed there I will not work with the other side because the operation will be exactly the same you guys can do that I'm sure and here the first uh, radius it is two millimeter and after this operation I select my fillet and I will put here one more group of radius normally here I'm making with a, a, a variable uh, a radius variable size fillet and that's also looking nice because in this area there is a straight point which is not looking that much good in fact but I'm skipping that point uh, now guys uh, we're almost done and the first thing that I wanna do that the cutting behind it was a 200mm radius and extrude cut again with a line and through all both uh, we got it there and uh, with 6 mm offset I just break my edge here split line I break my surface not edge sorry sorry for my English by the way <laughs> yeah 
and then here a radius of 2 and a radius of 2 also here and then now we can make some color changes uh, we can make it black how it is in the real guns you know and I will make the last operation here to create a surface break again which is normally like knurling with the little cutouts it is very famous in the guns to provide some uh, good grip four millimeter offset and again a four millimeter offset and I have it here to line they are equal we are just leaving somewhere around it's not that much important and then from there to here uh, line again and continue with this and meeting up here somewhere uh, I just leave everything according to your wish these are free how you want you can do that let's say 60 degree yes and uh, it is uh, it is fine now I'm just going to make split line and giving here another color it was looking nice on my old model to show that there is a difference normally in this surface as I said said you that there is a special operation but it is going to take a little bit time I think more than the modeling whole thing that's why I'm not going to do that operation uh, yeah uh, the, the generally uh, the things that I wanna show it now uh, that's all uh, it is in fact not so hard just you should uh, follow all steps and understand the, the, the way of the program uh, how we are going to creating a loft between the surfaces and how the guide curves are using after that this is so easy and uh, please follow all steps and try to make it it's going to develop you I really enjoy to make this model I hope one day when I have good time more time we can fully make a whole gun modeling because these dimensions are easily findable on internet you don't need to do anything about it and just follow the steps and complete the model uh, if you like my video please press like button and make comment if you guys want the model that I made please make on comments write on comments your email address and I'm going to send it there thank you for watching